Hey everyone, happy Monday. Um, I'd just like to take a couple of minutes to tell you what you're going to be working on in class today. Uh, the first thing is we're going to finish analyzing the data from the lab and we're going to try to start making some graphs. And so just as a reminder, our data table is going to have, for now, three columns. It's going to have x in centimeters plus or minus 0.05 or 0.1 depending on what you think and then all of your x distances and then we're going to have y also in centimeters and then we're going to have the y uncertainties and just as a reminder if you have your zero point on your tape you measure the y distances to the center of the cluster and the radius of the cluster is the uncertainty. So you're going to notice two things. One is that the clusters get farther and farther apart, so we're talking about accelerating as it falls downwards, and you're going to notice that the clusters get more uncertainty as you move down. Okay, so in a fourth column I suggest that you put time in seconds. And so the question is, how can we find the time for each of these data points? And so this is the first thing that you should do once you get your first three columns, x, y, and y uncertainty. Try to find the time. And the hint that I'll give you is that if you envision what's happening, here is the cardboard or the wood or whatever. There's the ramp. And so when the ball rolls off the ramp, it makes a bit of a parabolic shape like this. And what we can do is think about the distance downwards that it's falling. And don't we have an equation for something which is falling? Now the hint for this is that v initial is going to be zero. And so see if you can figure out the time for something to fall if it starts with zero initial velocity. Now let's be careful, this is initial velocity in the y direction. It does have initial velocity in the x direction. Okay, so see if you can figure that out. Then what you're going to do is using a computer graph paper, so I'm on to the graphs part of your lab, you're going to make a good graph of the following four things. X versus time. So you have X position versus time. Okay, you're going to have Y versus time. And, oh sorry, you're going to start with three things. Then your third thing is going to be Y versus X. Okay, now these two graphs, X versus time and Y versus time, you might just think about the absolute value, okay, so that we have something in first quadrant and first quadrant. But y versus x, well, if you look at what's happening, that's really kind of like a third quadrant thing. And so let's make all of our x distances increase this way and our y distances increase this way. And don't forget all the things that make it good. You need a title, you need axes with units, you need your points plotted, and any time you have x or y, you need to put in the uncertainties. Don't worry about the uncertainty for time. Okay, now these are three graphs, and you need to try to find equations for these graphs. Now they might not be straight lines, in which case you can actually use um, the power law function on Excel or you can use your calculator to fit to a quadratic or whatever you think it might be. But what you need to do is find three equations somehow. One from each graph. So I hope that that's clear. Okay, then the next thing on our list is to take these three graphs and use the information in them so this is step one. 
Step two is we're going to sketch reasonable graphs of the following things. And this is going to be kind of weird. Vx versus time, Vy versus time, Ax versus time, and Ay versus time. Okay, now what are we talking about with Vx? Well, that's the velocity in the x direction. That's the same thing as delta x over delta t. So where could we find that information? This is where we have to draw things from last unit. Well, Vy is a change in y divided by time. Where would that come from? And then once you have those, Ax would be a change in Vx, and Ay would be a change in Vy. So try to sketch four graphs. Okay, so you do not have to plot points. You just have to show me what is going on. Okay, now when I say sketch, I'd like at the very least this time, label with units, and then just say what graph it is. And then you can just draw or sketch what happens. Okay, and the last thing that we're going to do pertaining to the lab today is we're going to try to start answering the analysis questions. Okay, so we should be working on this for approximately one period, maybe plus the first 10 minutes of the second period. Okay, at that time, you need to transition to the vectors worksheet, and we're going to be doing the back, the back side, which has Sokotoa. And so if you are completely familiar with Sokotoa and uh, right triangle trig and those sorts of things, then you can move directly to the next thing, which is to start working on homework set one. But I suggest that you do a little bit of review with vectors, okay? So this will draw on what you watched in the videos and it will be a bit of practice for you, okay? And then for the remaining time in class, simply work on set one. Okay, so I think that's about it, and I'm going to cut this off so that you guys can get to work. All right, go.